Replay no, 11. No. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to go over a brief overview of Unity. So the first thing that you see when you launch Unity is this welcome screen where you can access video tutorials, learn about Unity basics, access the Unity Answers website. Uh, if you have questions, you can connect with people on the Unity forum and make friends. Um, you can also access easily access the Unity Asset Store. So we'll go ahead and close that for now. And you'll see here we are in Unity. And probably the two most used uh, windows in Unity are going to be this scene view here and the game view here, right? So the game view is sort of like your live in-game view. And the scene view is sort of like, you know, when you're building the game and putting stuff in the game where you're going to be working. Right, And then down here on the bottom, you'll see we have this hierarchy panel, and then over here to the right, the project panel. So the project panel is where you store all of your game's assets, everything that you think you might use in your game, um, like 3D models, fonts, explosions, audio, video, pretty much anything. Over here in the hierarchy panel, this is only the things that are actually being used in the game. And then over here on the far right, in the top right corner, we have the Inspector tab. And this is basically a context-sensitive property inspector, which changes depending on the context of where your mouse is. So if I click on this little barrel here, you see that now the inspector is populated with all the parameters for that inspector. But now if I change the context of what's selected and I come over here and click this item, you'll see that things have changed, right? Or if I click on this light, now we can see the properties of the light. And then up here on the top left corner, we have four buttons. We have a little hand icon. We have the move selected objects icon. We have the rotate, selected objects, and the scale, right? So the move is just, you know, moving around like this, right, in the game. And then this is, if you notice here, this 3D manipulator with our Y axis, our Z axis, which is blue, and the red axis, which is um, right here. And you can see also up here, there are additional representations. So we can move things, right, by clicking and dragging on these manipulator handles. But that's with the move selected. If we switch to rotate, now notice we have rotate. So I could then rotate by clicking and dragging on these colored lines. Right, in this case, it's a light, so it's not really doing much. But if I, let's say, if I go back to this barrel over here, and then here's a quick shortcut. If you press F, you can focus in on the selected object. So now if I go back to the hand, you see that the manipulator goes away and I'm just sort of panning around. And if I click the move, now I can move it up, I can move it to the right, I can move it further or closer to the camera. And if I click the rotation, I can rotate it. And I'm just clicking on the colored um, lines in the sphere manipulator here. And then of course scale, right? So I could scale it in the X, I could scale it in the Y, I could scale it in the Z, or if I click on the center box, I can scale the whole thing in proportion. Right, so I'm going to press undo a few times because I didn't really want to change that. Okay. And then over here, these two buttons right next to it, here if I go back to the move tool, these you have kind of have to have something selected in order for these to work. But these determine where the manipulator is on the object. So there's either an object's local space, which is here, and you'll notice that it's switched around, or there's the global space, which is the 3D sort of space of the whole place that we're in. 
Okay, and then you can center the pivot if it's not already uh, centered. And the pivot is just this center point here. And then over here, these three buttons, this is where you stop, play, and pause your game. So if I click the play button, we should automatically switch to this game view over here. Right? And now we're actually in the game. And I'm just moving my mouse around. And when I press the mouse button, I can shoot. If I use my arrow keys, I can move. I can go in this area here. Go ahead and kill this robot over here before he gets me. Oh, I ran out of bullets. He's going to get me. All right. Replay 11.